Evening everybody, Rich here, back for part 8 of this RMS Queen Mary tutorial. Uh, today's focus is the top superstructure, or top deck houses, uh, which consist of the bridge wings, wheelhouse, uh, supports for the funnels, and the deck houses in between. Um, I think that's pretty much it, so, <laughs> so what I'm going to do, before we start that though, we're going to go down to the, uh, the, the boat deck superstructure, and I already added the doors and windows to it, so on the top deck here you can see got the doors and windows going along the sides there it's my usual routine of two doors and then about a dozen windows or half a dozen windows and then two doors windows two doors windows all the way along uh, all along the side uh, the, the color I've used is actually uh, gray stained glass whereas on the prototype I used black stained glass but it's not a big issue so you can, I've, yeah it's, it's, it's gray stained glass it just gives it a bit more uh, I don't know a bit more depth really because the, the, the clear glass just seems to be a bit too I don't know, the pixel on it makes it look weird, so if you make it grey, it looks clearer, <laughs> if you know what I mean, but uh, I'll leave that one, but yeah, and also what I've done with the windows, I've put slabs on top of them, so it's a two high window along the sides, you know, all the windows are two blocks high with a slab on top, uh, that's, you know, it's my own personal thing for this ship, but whether it was on the real ship, I don't know, you can do it any way you want, but that's what I've done. Right, so now what we're going to do is go to the front wall as well of this of this superstructure. So I've not added the windows to the front. So what we're going to do is go to the center of this front wall and we go off to the side by one. Uh, and then we add, no, do two out and then we add a window and then a window, I think. No, actually. Leave a window and a two gap and then a window, I think. I'm not really sure how this goes. Let me just double check this because I, I did write this down but I can't remember. Or I can't see where it is, I'm in notes, which really doesn't help. Uh, so what did I do? It's uh, oh, all, f all four windows are separated by a block, and also there's a slab on the top, but we'll worry about that later on. So each window is separated by a block. All right, I shall do this again. All right, so we'll fly back over, go to the center block again, which is that one, we've got that first one there, and we can put a window there instead. So window, window, and then window, and window, so you have the windows like that, and then we can put the glass in. So each window is separated by a single gap, like so. And then with the design of the windows, two blocks above or one block gap above, you put a slab uh, in there, and there, and there, and there, like so. Because when we add the uh, the wall for the bridge wings on top, or the the wall for the upper superstructure, the the um, you'll have a wall across the top like that but we'll worry about that in a minute so just as long as we get this in so the windows for the next bit we put uh, just go to the next section and a window there next section then a window and then a window there and that's pretty much it around that section and then on top of that along the top you just add the slabs again like so apologies if I'm not explaining this very well but that's the way it goes so do the same on the other side And then we add the slabs on top there, like so. So that wastes about 10 minutes, that's uh, all hunky dory. And then what we're going to do from bridge wing to bridge wing, or the, the pillars on the sides, we just add a line of blocks across the front of these lower wings. So just along the front here. And then across the top of those slabs. And there we go, that is that section done there. So you can see you've got the windows and then you've got smaller windows above. These smaller windows you can see are useless because you've got the uh, the wood flooring inside but it just gives it a bit more detail and uh, that's what that's all about. So um, that's that. So what we're going to do now is move on to the next stage of the superstructure and this will be uh, the deck house that supports the proper bridge wings. So we'll go to the centre block again of the uh, deck here and so on the, we're on the top deck so on the wood we're going to leave a two block gap so two wood block gap and then on the third block is where we build so that's a two wood block gap there and then this wall is going to be seven wide so that's uh, three that way and then three that way and then you want uh, four one two three four and then uh, three one two three three again one two three and then two and then two back like that 
And then for the sides, you want 27. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. So that's 27 there. I'll just measure it to make sure. And that is 27, so that's fine. So I'll do the same on the other side. We go 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 3, and 3, and then 2, and 2 back. So that should be roughly about the same. And then we add the 27. So just make sure these are lined up. Yep, and then we just add the 27. I just do it freehand and then measure it across. So where are we? Damn it. Up to there, and then just join them together across the back. Like so. So there's your first deck house foundations done. So what we're going to do now is go to the front wall again and then increase that to five high. So make it five high. So that's two high, three high, four high, and then five high. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's fine. And then from the top line on the back, we're going to go and add a row of four, one, two, three, four. And then three, one, two, three, and then four, one, two, three, four, and then five, one, two, three, four, five, five again, one, two, three, four, five, and then eleven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, out to the side, and that should sit on top of those side pillars like that. And then for the sides, you want to go two back, so one, two, and then you want to go back in 17. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And then drop down 1, 2, 3. And that should connect to the foundations below. So that should be all one unit now. And we we'll do the same on the other side just to get this all right. So what was it? It was 4, 3, 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and then 2 back, and then 17 back in, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and then drop down, 1, 2, 3, and there we go, that's that unit all done. So what you want to do now is the area from the front wall to the pillar we just added here, all the walls in here increase to four high. So I'll do one side and then flip it over. So just increase these walls here to four high. So there we go, they're all increased to four high. So I should do a copy paste to the other side. Saves a bit of time. Up to there. And then we go uh, copy, uh, flip to the right, and then paste. And there we go, that's both sides done. And it should look something like that. And then for the rest of the walls, from the back of the pillar all the way around the back, increase the walls to five high. I just scratch my head, so we'll just use well it to increase them in height. Down to there, so set uh, quartz. And then across the back, and then along the other side, and there we go. That's the deck. Oh, that's the walls all increased. And then to add the deck, you just go inside the bridge wings, and the wall will sit inside the groove of the bridge wing. And then you just fill the deck in all the way back along the uh, top of the. Uh, top line of the wall. So I shall stand on this block here and use the fill tool to fill in the deck. Uh, fill wood by 200 and there we go that's the deck all added there. So now we've got the uh, bridge deck basically done and uh, it should look something like that. Still minus the windows but you can add them as and where you want but the front windows I shall try and come back later on and fill them in. Uh, for the next job I want to do is go from the center, uh, center block of the uh, of the bridge or the front of the bridge and then just add a wall of blocks all the way around the bridge wings and then down the sides of the deck house itself but not the back wall though the back wall will be handrails and they'll be added later on so we're just going to add the wall 
around, like I say, around the bridge wings and down the side of the deck house, but not around the back. Like so. Do the same on the other side. Wait a bit of time. And then down the back, or down to the back. And there we go. That's the uh, that bit done there. So now for the bridge wheelhouse itself, we're going to fly back to the front wall. And on the centre block, we're going to add two windows. So we're going to go, or add a single window, which is two blocks high, like that, um, depending on the colour you want. And then you're going to add, uh, or make it seven windows. So that's one window there, and then three either side with a single gap in between. So that's one window, and then one, two, uh, three out to the side like that, and then the same one, two, three out that way. So it's seven windows like that. I think I should have changed the colour, but never mind. And then add the uh, add the pillars in between. And then for the sides, you add a pillar, one block back, like so. There, so you got a pillar on that corner block there, and the same here. So you've got the window on the corner, but a pillar goes there. So it, it looks weird, but you know it's Minecraft. You can't really pick and choose with this sort of thing, but it don't look too bad from the front. And then for the sides of the of the uh, wheelhouse, you're going to come behind this pillar here. This, uh, this end pillar, and the, uh, pardon me, the sides are going to be ten. So you go one, two, three. Phone's just gone off. Bear with me. Um, yeah, start that again. Right. So uh, get rid of that one. So from that pillar, like I said, you go uh, ten. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Apologies there. That bloody phone put me off. So that's ten back from the pillar, um, and then. Mm. Out. That's bloody phone keeps going off. Right. So you, at the end of the ten, you go out two, and then back two, and then back in two, and then back. Hang on. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Like that. So there we go. That's the that's the wheelhouse, or well, that's the side of the wheelhouse. I do the same on the other side. And if that phone goes off again, I'm going to throw it out the bloody window. Right. So 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then 2 out, 2 back, 2 in, and then 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then join them together across the back. So that is the shape of your wheelhouse. You've got some weird ears at the side, but these are where the stairs will go on the back, so don't worry too much about the design. Uh, and then for the wheelhouse itself, increase the walls uh, to 4 high, so I'll start on one side. Um, you as well let it. So, set so quartz, and then round the sides. And then down that bit there, and then across the back. And then from there to there. I'll do this with freehand. And then down to there. Right, so that's the uh, walls increased in height, and then we just add a line of blocks across the top of the windows. And I think we'll double them up. Well, not double them up, but add a corner block to connect the sections. Makes it a bit more uniform. And around to there. And there we go. That's the, uh, the wheelhouse covered up there like that. Just double checking for the other one, and it looks fine to me. And then for the roof, or for the, uh, the, uh, the deck on top, you just add a wall, a line of blocks, or a, a roof of blocks along the top line of the uh, of the walls there, like that, see, along the top line, like so. And I shall stand on this block, now that block, and use the fill tool again. So fill, and there we go, that's the deck added. Like so, so that's the deck house, or the wheelhouse added. Uh, I'll add the doors and windows later on, or in the next video, because it's not important at the moment, I just want to get the main... Uh, deck houses done, but for the stairs on the back, we can add them. So where your ears are, that stick out the side. I call them ears because they look weird. Uh, remove the top block, and then we just add stairs going going down to the deck level there, and then stairs underneath, and then the, the banisters going up two, two, and two like that. So you get stairs on the back, and the stairs on the other side. And then the two up, two up, two up, and then blocks underneath. 
And there we go, there's our wheelhouse. Marginally done, but there's still more to go on as of where we go. So I'm going to do a jump cut while I sort this all out, because I got to uh, write, a booth, uh, write a bit more down. But uh, anyhow, there we go. But anyway, I should back in, be back in a moment, and uh, which will crack on. So uh, there we go, back in a moment. Okay, back again. Now what we're going to do now is move on to the bridge wings again. So we'll go back to those. And we're going to add these small lookout uh, pods on either side. So we'll start on the right hand bridge wing. Uh, and what we're going to do on the top top corners, or on the corners at least, just add pillar two blocks high and then two blocks high there. And then one block in, or one block gap, and another pillar, one block gap, and then another pillar like that. So it's pillar, pillar, pillar like that. Same on the back part, add another pillar there, and another pillar there. So you've got six pillars like so and then in between just add glass and glass 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 and glass and then for the roof we just add rows of three across joining them all together <coughs> pardon me for the hiccups and there we go <laughs> there's the uh, first bridge wing done like that and then we do the same on the other side it's very simple like I say it's just six pillars so you go one two three four five six six pillars and then five windows and then a roof and there we go there's our bridge wings done and they should look something like that so the ship is definitely taking shape still not perfect but it will do anyway what we're going to do now is go behind the wheelhouse which is here and we're going to leave uh, we'll go for the center block of the wheelhouse so from the back end of the wheelhouse here down to the deck uh, leave a five block gap on the wood so one two three four five and on the sixth block we're going to build a small shed so this is going to be uh, 11 wide I think 11 yeah 11 wide so that's five either side so one two three four five one two three four five and then the sides are five one two three four five one two three four five and then join them together across the back like that and then increase the height to three blocks high all the way around so I'll just do one side and then weld it at the rest oh damn it right, there we go and that's the last side there and there's your shed sort of and then the rest of it well for the roof you just add the deck along the top like so. There we go, that's that little shed done. And uh, you can add a couple of windows and doors to that if you want. But uh, no big issue. Right, so bear with me while I adjust my notes because what we're going to do now is move on to the first funnel support. Um, and what we're going to do is go down to uh, the back of the back of the, the deck house here which, we, which we've already built so uh, should I think actually so, yeah so you got this you got the wheelhouse there and then you got the deck house which supports the wheelhouse go to the back of this larger deck house and from the sides say from the right hand side one we're going to count to the fifth block in so from the edge you go one two three four five the fifth block in and then we're going to build side walls of 28. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. So it's 28 like that. I think it's 28. Well, if it ain't, it doesn't matter. And we'll do the same on the other side. So 5 in. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And just add the 28 again. So, and then join them together across the back. Like so. And then increase that to three, three blocks high. So make it two, three blocks high. And then all the way around. So like I say, it's 28, for the, 28 uh, long for each length. And then just increase it in height to three blocks high like that. So the funnel will sit on this plinth basically. So make it three blocks high round each side. And there we go. So you've got the, the, the basically a, a smaller deck house really. But it's three blocks high. And then you just add the deck in an area as well. So on the top line of the blocks, just add the deck in there. 
like so, and I shall stand on this block and use the fill tool. So, use uh, fill. And there we go, that's the deck added there. And like I said, the funnel, the first funnel will sit in this area here. It does look a bit big, I will admit. Um, but no big issue. So, look over there. I will double check the, uh, the, pro the, the prototype one just to make sure it is the right length because it does look bigger than it really needs to be. But if I look at the, uh, the one down here, come on up. So, we go from this corner down to the other end. It is 28, so that's fine. Yeah, it's fine. But it just looked bigger than it needed to be, but of course the funnels are quite large. And I will admit the funnels are not very accurate. I mean, they should be quite quite round, but whereas mine are sort of ovals, but no big issue. Right, so that's that deck house there, and that supports the first funnel. Right, so what we're going to do now is work out what to do now. So uh, for the next deck house, we're going to go to the centre block again of the back wall here of the funnel support. So the centre block, which is uh, that one there. And on the wood, we're going to leave a 23 block gap. So that's the first block there. And leave a 23 block gap. That's 24, so that's 23 there. So on the 24th block is where we build for our next deck house. And the deck house itself is going to be 39 wide. So what's that? What's half of that? I don't know. What's half of 39? 19, I think, isn't it? Well, if we try it anyway, we'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. It's 39 wide, or we could just go the width of the deck house, or the, or the width of the superstructure. That's up to you. So that's that's the width of it all. So it's 39 uh, all the way out to the edge, like so. So we'll try it. So I'll measure it from there to there, and it's it is 39. So yeah, just make it the full width of the uh, of the superstructure here. And then for the sides, we're going to want uh, six. So on the sides, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, this is on the right-hand side, of course, so it's six back. And then in tens, we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten that way. And then uh, for the sides, again, we're going to go 27. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, so I do the same the other side quickly. So the sides is six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then in ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then twenty-seven all the way back. And one too far. Like so. And then at the end what you do you go in ten. So it's twenty-seven and then in in two. Like that. So it's in two. Same again, in two, like that. I'm gonna sneeze. And then you go at the end of those two, so it's so like I say, it's the 27, and then you go in two, and then you go forward, uh, five, so one, two, three, four, five. Like I say, so it sort of curls back on itself. So do the same on the other side, one, two, three, four, five. And then join them together across, like so. So there's your deck house shape, it's sort of uh, like a very short man with no head waving or with his arms out or a very fat T on stilettos that's the shape you got anyway <laughs> and then what you want to do is increase the height of all these walls to five high so that's two three four five and then five high all the way around so this may take a few seconds so bear with me on this I think what I'd do, the next time I need to raise something in height, I think I'd just do a jump cut and do it, because it just takes too long on camera. <sighs> Never mind. Anyway. There we go, that's that all done. So that's all increased in height to five high. And then just to add the deck, which is along the top line of the block, so in that gap there, all the way around, five high. Or not five high, but in that top line of block. So I shall stand on this block and use the fill tool. And there's, there you go, there's the deck added, and you can see it's along the top line of those blocks. So there we go. 
So I'm just going to do a quick jump cut while I uh, work out what to do next. So uh, back in a moment. Right, back again. So what we're going to do now is add the second funnel uh, plinth, if you like. Uh, so what we're going to uh, go and do now is from these two pointy bits down here on the back of the deck house, we're going to go from the center block or the middle block of each side. So you've got the side bit here. If we go from the center bottom block, which is that one there, and what we're going to do is uh, build a line 20 blocks long. So go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So 20 long like that. And then what we're going to do is go out one, which is out to the side one, and then add a line of 44. So this connects to another deck house. So we'll go 44 now. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 2, 3, 4. So that should be 44. And I'll just measure that. So that should be 44, that is. And this one should be 20. And it is. So that's fine there. So I'll do the same on the other side quickly. I'll just... Uh, just oh. <coughs> I'll do it freehand and then measure it. Like so, so that's the 20. And then you want the 44. Without doing any damage. There we go, so that's the 44 there. And then increase the height of these walls to 3 high. So it's 2, 3. And once again, I should just do this as quick as I can. And then the fan going off again. Who wants me? Nobody ever wants me. Alright, try to do the other side without throwing something out the window. And then down the other side. So the 44 and the 20 should be 3 high. Down to there. And there we go. Right, so bear with me a second while I sort out this bloody phone. Right, it's only work telling me a few things. Right, they can piss off. Okay, right now, what do I do now? Um, yeah, so there's the 20 and the 44 increased in height. So I'm just going to adjust my notes so that I know what I'm doing. And then, uh, yep, yeah, so what we're going to do now is go to the uh, front of the 44. So the 44 block high section here. And we're going to use slabs. Or are we? I'm trying to think how, did, how we do this. So if we go actually one block away from the 44, so one block. <sighs> sake. Right. Okay. So one block back from the 44. So one, two. So the first block, second block. Okay. Now what we're going to do is use wood slabs. Yeah, wood slabs. Or is it? I'm going to double check this actually because this, this fucking phone keeps going off and putting me off. Right. We just go over to the prototype so you can get an idea of what I'm trying to explain. Uh, so, from the... Okay, so the first block of the 44, we go two blocks in and then slope the slabs up four slabs high. Like so. <sighs> okay, apologies for this thing. I really do hate bloody mobile phones. Right, so we go to the first block of the 44 and then go two blocks in. So one block, two block, and on the third block we add a slab like that. So you've got slabs first slab like that and then we slope them up four so that's, a, well, that's one up two up three up and then four up like that so it, it slopes up four slabs like that same on the other side so go in one go up one slab two slabs three slabs four and then join them across the front like that so you got a sort of a, a subtle bridge like that and then all the way to the back of the uh, rubber 44 you want to use wood slabs so if I get the uh, where are they? Wood slabs, wood slabs, wood slabs, wood, oak, oak, wood, wood. Can I find them? Where are they? Where are they? Uh, there we are, oak, wood, slabs. Now I'll just double check the prototype here to make sure I do this right. Because I've not written this down very well. Uh, yep, yeah, so what you do, you fill in the whole thing with wood slabs and then just slope it up. So it's, it's sort of like a, a domed roof, if you like, but it's sort of a long domed roof if you know what I mean because so I'll try and do this 
I do what I do a, a few sections of it. I don't want to do too much, otherwise I'll be here all day. But like I say, if you do uh, sections like that, like so, and then just carry on doing this all the way to the back of the 44. There we go. That's the first few sections. You just carry on doing the same thing all the way to the back of the 44. So I'll do a jump cut while I sort that out. And then we can move on to our next job. So, um, back in a moment. Okay, back again. Now I've finished the slabbed roof and it should look something like this. This is the very back end of the rows of 44 and the uh, roof should look something like that. There's no end to it just yet because there will be more deck house to attach to it. But we'll worry about that in a minute. But uh, it should all look something like that. And there will be more detail added to the sides as well, like uh, sort of support beams. But like I say, I'll worry about that another time. And then from the uh, underneath the, uh, the the white section of the uh, sl uh, slabbed bit, you just want to add a wall uh, going across underneath the archway, across the width of the deck house. Sort of sealing off the uh, deck house to the rest of the element. And then fill in the rest of the gap with slabs. So we get slab in there and down there. And in the top gaps up here. And there and in there. And there we go. That seals off that area is that area there. And then this area in here will be where the, the uh, second funnel goes. So the second funnel support will go, or the, the deck anyway, will go along the top block or the top line of the uh, three high wall. And we just add this section in here, fill it in with wood. So I shall stand on this block and use the fill tool again. And there we go, that is that section all filled in. So that's the deck house there, that weird one. Middle deck house is where the funnel will go. And then you've got that strange curvy curvy roof deck house there. So that's those three sections done there. And thank Christ for that. So what we're going to do now is go to the back wall or to the back end of the rows of 44. Basically the back end of the curvy roof building and I shall adjust my notes and work out what the hell to do next. So uh, bear with me. Right, so what we're going to do is at the end of the 44, we're going to add one block there. And then we're going to build out uh, three. So one, two, three out like that. And then the sides are seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven like that. And then increase that to five high. So two, three, four, five. And then make this five high there. Like so, so that's one side. And I'll do the same the other side. So one block and then one, two, three out. And then one, two, three, four, five. Hang on. How far was it? One block out. And then... Uh, seven back, so that's five, six, seven, and then increase that to five high. There you go, so you've got those two deck houses there. Well, not deck houses, but uh, corner beams like that. So I'll start on the left hand side with this. So the next job I want to do is then leave. A, what, actually, I've actually got to put a wall across the back, so I forgot to add that. So I put a wall joining the two sides together. So there's two corner sections, and then just join them together across the back and make this wall five high as well. Always helps when you write things down. And I didn't want to paste that, so undo that. And then we do set quartz. So there we go, that's the back wall added there, like that. And then the front wall. So you need to put join the two sides together across the front. So we just add a line of blocks across the across the front top, or across the top there like that, and then just fill in the corner gaps here, so you've got no air or no light coming through. So fill in the blocks there, and then you should have a sort of clear area, or not a clear area, but a straight wall at the end of the uh, curved roof. And then like before, you just add the deck along the top, 
of uh, the white walls. So once again, I shall stand on a single block and then use the fill tool. So bear with me on this one. And there we go. There's the deck added, and it should look something like that. So it's a five high wall like that. Uh, so what we're going to do now is leave a single block gap. So we go go to the back wall of the deck house and find the centre block, which I can't find. So how wide is? I just find out how wide this wall is. So that wall is 25. So half of 25 is 12. 12, and the centre block is that one. So that's the centre block there. So I find the centre block, which is that one, down on the deck below, and we're going to leave a single block gap, I think. So I'll we'll leave a single block gap and then start building there. So I'll change that to uh, change that to red, so I know it's a single. So I know it's the centre. And then you want to make this wall uh, 17 wide, so that's 8 either side, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, like so. And then for the sides you want 18, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Same on the other side, 1, 2, 3, 4, blah, 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 like so. And then at the end of the 18 you want to build uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 rows of 2. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 rows of 2 like that. And then a row of 17. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, <laughs> 17 like that. So it's 17 out or 17 down or back like that. And then for the last 8 blocks of that 17, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, you just want to increase to four high, so uh, make it three high, and then finally four high like that. So I did the same on the other side. So it's six rows of two. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then the seventeen, and then the last eight blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Increase to four high. Like so. And then on the ninth block, the next nine blocks, you want to increase to two high. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Increase to two blocks high. And all of the rows of two as well, increase them to two high. Like so. And then. Uh, uh, and then the first three walls, so basically the first uh, section here, the straight walls, increase them to th uh, to three high. So from the rows of two, just add them three high. So it's basically this will be the funnel support. So we just increase this to three high. And I'll do the same across the other side. So I'm just working on one side for the minute, and then I'll. Uh, copy it to the other side so this is on the on the right hand side so you've got the funnel support there which is three high the rows of two are two high and the last eight here are four high so it should look something like that at the moment um, and then what we want to do is bear with me a second um, so yeah at the end of the uh, three high section so the back end here what you want to do is build out two like that so it over overhangs a row of two so out two and then on the rows of two, just build out two, out two, out two, out two, out two, and out two again. So you've got an overhang like that. And then on the outside edge, you just want to build one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine to connect to the uh, rows of eight there. And then you increase that in height to uh, three high. So the overhang is three high. So build this three high along the sides. Like so, minus that block. And the rows of two increase them to three high. Like so, so it should look something like that. So the funnel support is three high. The rows of two are two high and overlap with a three high section. And the sides around there like that as well. So the it all should join up like that. So I should do a, a quick copy paste to the other side just to make sure this is all lined up so um, I shall copy from actually I should copy from the back end over here so copy from down here up to that center block up here 
And then we use good old copy, flip to the right, and then paste. And there we go, that's both sides done. It should look something like that. It looks weird, but you know, it's done. And then what you want to do is across the back, where the, uh, the wall is one block higher than the rows of four here, we just go and add a line across the back to join the two sides together along the overlap, that is, the overhang, sorry. So there we go, that section there. You see it should overhang like that. And then what, put one block underneath as well, so make it one line lower as well, so a line of blocks underneath. Like so. And then the back wall of the four high sections, just build a line, or build a wall connecting the two sides together as well. So across, ooh, across like that, and then increase that wall to four high. So set quartz again. And there we go, the back wall is now four high. Like so. Alright, so what we're going to do now is a bit more jiggery pokery. So from the uh, the front of the rows of two, so where the uh, the, the row of th well, the three high section joins onto the rows of two, we're going to add a bit more. So um, I'm trying to think how to do this. Uh, yeah, so the back side here, what we're going to do is build back. Uh, seven so one two three four five six seven I think I think that's how it goes yep and then do the same on the other side so one one two three four five six seven and then join the two sides together like so so this basically creates an opening a larger opening for where the funnel goes and then underneath that underneath that row we just built we just build it down two more rows so uh, double the height downwards underneath and then one more row underneath as well so making it three in height but building it downwards if you know what I mean there we go that's how it should look so you got on the on the front it should look something like that and then when you add the deck for the funnel the deck will go along the top line of the rows of three high and then connect on to the uh, rows of these sections so the deck will sit inside this section we just built as you can see it sits in that area there so it's a, it's a weird design it's very difficult to explain but uh, if you can follow it and you know make it look good it <laughs> it does look alright so you can, see, you can see the deck goes into that groove and then back again and then what I'll do, I'll use the, the world edit to fill in the rest, so I shall use the fill tool. And there's the deck filled in, so you can see it should look something like that. And of course you've got the, uh, the, groo the, the sort of groove in here. And then uh, from the rows of two, the top line of the rows of two, we just fill in the deck here. Back to the uh, back wall there, which is the, the side across there. And then the, the next deck will go on a, a block lower. So. It's sort of a three-tiered building, if you know what I mean. You got a, a, a row here, and then one block higher is another row, another roof, and then two blocks down from there, you got another roof. So it's it's a three-tiered building, and it's very weird, but you know it goes on, and it it does fit on eventually. So I shall uh, stand on this block here and, and use the fill tool to fill all this in, and that's that one side done. You can see it's filled in there like that. It should look something like that. And then the next section we'll do the same, stand on that block and use the fill tool again. And there we go, that's that section there. So that's that three high or three tiered building there. And you can see the funnel goes in that space there. It's a pain in the ass trying to build this, but if I go over to the prototype you can sort of get an idea on how it's meant to look. Hey, things I do. And there's also a skylight that will go on it as well as you can see here. With a skylight, but that will go on later on. But as you can see, around funnel number three, you've got the weird deck house. Um, better look at it from this angle. You can see it goes there and it sort of cast, it sort of curves around the third funnel, but you know, that's how it is. It's also another deck house to go on, but I'm going to do a quick jump cut while I uh, get that measured up and then uh, we should move on to that. So, um, back in a moment. Okay, back again. Now we're going to work on the last deck house of the uh, top superstructure, so we're at the back end of the ship now, the very back end now or not the very back end, but the back end of the top deck and we're going to work on the raised deck of the superstructure, the um, 
the section of the uh, superstructure, which is two blocks higher here at the back. So what we're going to do, we're going to extend this now. We're going to ex extend it a bit further forward. So go from the outside edge, working inwards. And we're going to go to the 12th block in. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Build forward 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Double that in height, like so. And then do the same on the other side. Going from the 12th in. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Double that in height, like so. And then join them together across the front end. So, and then we can get rid of these white blocks because uh, they're not needed anymore. And then what you need, what you need to do is extend this uh, area here, extend the deck forward into the groove we just built. So, into this area here, and uh, I'll stand on this block and use the fill tool, but it should be just. Uh, Fill in the deck there, and there we go. That's that all extended there. So it's an, it's an, it, is, it was a mistake on my part because I was meant to do this in the previous video, but I never did it. So um, I just made it straight across, but it, it, it goes across then out forward, and then you can see you can see how it is. Um, so what we're going to do now is add the last deck house. So we we'll find the center block of the building we just or the, the deck we just uh, modified, and find the center block, which I think is that one. I should just measure it. So it's eight that way, and eight that way yep so that's the center block there and we'll leave a single block gap on the wood so one block gap and then we build on the second block so it's going to be uh, seven wide so it's one center and then three that way and then three that way is it seven no it's five wide so it's five wide apologies there so it's five wide like that and then you want seven rows of two that's what confused me my notes are not very clear so it's a five wide and then seven rows of two so one two three four five six seven like that so seven rows of two same the other side one two three four five six six damn it six seven like that and then we want uh, 19 for the side. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Same the other side. Make it 19. Like so, 19. And then join them together. No, not join them together, but the end of the 19 you add 2. And the same on the other side, add 2. And then join them together across the back. So I nearly forgot that row of two. So there we go. So it's the 19 and then the row of two and then across the back like that. So that's the deck house shape. And then um, the, the row of 19 on the side and the back wall as well. Uh, we increase to uh, five high. So it's uh, one, two, three, four, five high. So the 19 we increase to five high. Down to there. So I use set quartz again. And then across the back as well, I'll just add the row of two, make that five high as well. And then across the back, five high, and then the rows of two again. And then down the other row of 19, increase that to five high. Like so. And then the rows of two, uh, we're going to... Actually, what we're going to do is look at the prototype because I've not written this down very well. Bloody hell. Alright, so on the prototype, uh, the rows of two, yeah, the rows of two on the front will increase that to three high. Right, okay, so I don't know why I didn't write that down. My mistake. Okay, I should make a fail reel for the fail reel of this. But anyway, the rows of two increase them and the front wall to three high, so three high. Three high, three high, three high, three high, three high, and then the front wall, and then the twos increase to three high again. Like so. And then on the front wall or the front line of the rows of nineteen, uh, say the second block down from the top, we build forward two like that, and then double that in height, so it's two like that. And then create an overhang. So you go two, 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 like so. So you got the overhang like that. 
and then do the same on the other side. So a two forward and two forward, and then you go two, 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 like that, and then overhang across the front, like so. So you get an overhang that's shaped like that. And then double the height of the rows of two, making them all two blocks high. And it should look something like that. So you got you got the uh, deck house, which is now overhanging, like so. So the overhang at the 19, or at the row of 19, the overhang starts at two, and it overhangs two of all the rows of two. Uh, and it should look something like that. And then what you want to do is on the inside again, along the top line of the uh, the deck or the top line of the building actually you just add the roof uh, along the top line of the white block so it should look something like that so what I do as usual I will stand on a block on a block and use the fill tool and there we go there's the roof added and apologies for all the screw ups today things have not been going too well it's the people on the phone that's been annoying me that's what's put me off Tell you what, the best thing is don't don't get a job, and then people won't won't ring you up to tell you to do do other things. You know, tell you to come in a bit earlier, or a bit later. Just tell them to fuck right off. You may need a bleep there as well. Anyway, um, what are we gonna do? Oh yeah. Uh, so yeah, what we're gonna do is leave the doors or windows. You can start adding doors or windows to these deck houses now if you want to. I'm gonna leave that and um, do it off camera because most of them are just sort of randomly placed windows. So um. Yeah, if I go, if I go back to the prototype, you'll sort of see how the uh, doors and windows are sort of placed. And uh, like I said, they're not not really in any specific order; they're just random. So you got the last deck house here. You got a few windows. They got four windows plus two doors, and then the next deck house around funnel number three. You just got single windows, and then a couple of single windows around the third funnel, and then the the curved roof deck house. You got these extra pillars on the sides. I'll add them later on on the other one on uh, probably in the next video. So you got these side pillars on the sides, and then the next deck house forward of funnel number two. You got taller windows, a couple of doors, but and then some windows around the front there. Funnel number one. There's no windows around that because of um. I think that's the way it was anyway. And then around the deck house, you got some single windows down the side there. So that's what we're going to do on the first deck house. We've got windows along the side there. So I'm going to add some windows around the front of that. So I'll go to the front, back to the front deck house uh, underneath the wheelhouse. So back at the front of the ship. So underneath the wheelhouse, wheelhouse on the front wall here, we'll add three windows. So uh, one block up from the bottom, we add uh, three windows. So add a window on the centre. And then a window either side of that. And then a window there, a window there, and a window there. So that's the front windows. And then same with the next rows along. There we go, so you got the front windows added like that. And then side windows. Um, I think there should be stairs. If I just double check, I think there's stairs coming down from the bridge wing. So I just double check. And I think there are, yeah, there are. So if we go back to the bridge wings, we can add the stairs as well. So if we go behind the bridge wings, where the bridge, the back end of the bridge wing joins the uh, back to the deck house, we could remove uh, two blocks in the corner here, and then build stairs going down to the deck below, like that. So you've got the back of the bridge wing, and then you go to the stairs down, and you add the banisters going up. So it's rows of two, and then a couple of blocks underneath and there you go there's your stairs on the side there like that so I do the same the other side might as well get this out of the way so I remove those two blocks and stairs going down and then banisters going up uh, two up two up two up two up and then blocks underneath and there we go there's our stairs added there so that's a bit more detail added there um, and then, like I say, you can add the doors and windows to this side building. So I'll put a couple of doors under here, underneath the stairs, and then single windows, sort of two blocks apart, going along the side of this one deck house. And there we go. So that's the first deck house underneath the wheelhouse. And uh, it should look something like that. So I'll do the same the other side, get that out of the way, and I think we could almost end it. So I'll put our stair uh, doors in there, and then. A single window, so window goes there. 
and then two block gap window, two block gap window, two block gap window. Was it two block gaps? Yeah, that's fine. And there we go, that's that one deck house pretty much done. <coughs> right, so that is that little jobby done there. Um, and then what we're going to do, last job of the day, is just to add a few walls around the front curved walls of the superstructure. So you got, uh, so the next one down from the from the uh, one we just looked at. So next one down, we just add from the pillars on the side, just add a wall of blocks around the edge of the front wall of the superstructure here. Basically, going from pillar to pillar. Or pillar the post if you want. Out to the side there. And then the same on the deck below because we've got a, curve, uh, a square wall on the front as well but that doesn't matter. So we just add the walls on the next deck below from the pillar around the front curved bit. And then around the straight edges here up to the stairs and then across the front and then round the other side so we go that's that next deck down and then what we do is go down to the next deck which is the much longer deck but you only add the walls along the sides you don't add anything around the curved wall at the front because that will be handrails so if we go from the pillar, well not the pillar but the outside edge here the end of the sides and then we just build the wall along the sides up to the end there and I'm not sure how far does it go in, does it go in from there or is it handrails the rest of it so I'll just double check on our prototype so uh, yeah the walls go in and then well actually the walls go up to a certain point and then handrails the rest so there is an extra section here as you can see but we'll add that later on it's just a small curve um, if you want to actually you can add that so if we go back over and so you add the uh, the walls up to the end of the the side here so what we do we add a block there and then we add a line of blocks going down like so and then sort of one, two, uh, three forward at the bottom there like that and then sort of two like that. So it sort of create, creates the curve of the uh, of the white hull but it's not perfect but you know it will do. So I'll do the same on the other side and try and explain it a bit better. So we go to the outside and just build the walls heading forward. Up to the end there like that and then on the, cent on the uh, end here we add a block there and then a line of blocks going up like that and then th uh, three at the bottom and then two up there like that so like I said it creates a sort of curve of the hull but you know, it's not, not brilliant but it will do and then the last job like I say is just to add the handrails for this one so we get our handrails which are literally just iron bars and from the, that point we just added we just add the handrails going around the front of this section of the superstructure up to the stairs there and then across from the stairs up to there and then from the other stairs going out to the outside edge and there we go that's that's deck done there and uh, that's the front of the superstructure done. So that is all we're going to do for today. So that's part eight done with. We've got a hell of a lot done. And uh, it's going to take its toll later on. But that's all that section done there. So that's it for part eight. Part nine, we're going to tone it down a little bit. We're going to start adding smaller details. Say the uh, forecastle details, masts, cargo hatches and things like that. And also on the stern as well. Um, then part ten, probably more uh, superstructure details like vents, uh, stairwells or staircases, uh, more vents and things like that and then after that it could be anything, we've got funnels to do, lifeboats, there's still a hell of a lot to do um, for this ship so I don't want to get sort of too involved with too much in one go so that's that but anyway that is it for part 8 like I say part 9 would be smaller details so um, 
that's it for there. So this is uh, Rich signing off, logging off and disappearing. And I shall return in part nine. So uh, bye for now.